Hey there, this is Kenova here again with her review of Steven Universe Message Received. Okay, so this episode begins. The gyms are outside the barn and no inspecting the, inspecting the drill. No, and Steven's still a little bit uneasy about Peridot being in possession of a diamond shaped object she took from the moon base. He enters the barn and leads Peridot in, into a car so he can talk to her. His intent is to steal the object. He fakes his curiosity on the diamonds, and Peridot explains that the great diamonds are completely better than the rest of the gems, and they are absolutely perfect, and she reassures her loyalty to yellow diamond. Stephen then tricks Peridot and manages to take away the object locking diamond into the car with the powerful force pull that is the child's safety lock. She pleads for mercy and agrees to to tell about the diamond-shaped object to Stephen when he threatens to destroy it. The object is actually a communicator that's created for the express purpose of a direct line to the diamonds, and she plans on using the object to inform Yellow Diamond of her mission status and how the Earth can be used to the Gem Empire's benefit. Stephen is extremely disappointed that despite trying to teach Peridot the value of Earths, she has learned absolutely nothing. Steven shows the, di the diamond communicator to the gems, and Pearl is shocked that, per that Peridot took it from the moon base, and Amethyst loses her respect for Peridot, which means no more nicknames. Steven talks about how he tried his best to, t to teach Peridot the value of life, and that it is the best for her to figure try to figure it out on her own, and not for the gems to, to kind of force it on her. Garden explains that even though it is, it is great that Stephen tried to help Peridot and that he is just like his mother and, and but he has to realize that two people just cannot be helped and they do not deserve the patience given to learn. Pearl tries to term uh, by saying he did the right thing by taking away the communicator. Peridot emerges from the barn having retrieved her giant mech and using logic to escape the forceful this child's safety lock. The gems attempt to engage her, but Peridot steals the communicator and runs away with it. Amethyst shapeshifts into a helicopter, and the gems fly to Peridot. They knock down the mech, but eventually Peridot climbs out and manages to get the communicator away from them again. She and Steven struggle for the communicator, but he expressed his frustration that all this effort into teaching Peridot were gone to complete waste. Peridot tells him that his emotions and sympathy to his is his entire problem, and then activates the communicator. No, the and the gems, being rebels, extinctly hide behind the records of the mech and take Stephen with them. And on the screen, from from the from the communicator emerges the screen, and um, Yellow Diamond's Pearl tries to talk to Peridot. While Peridot is using a direct line, and why? Peridot is in a direct line to her, but Yellow Diamond answers the call herself. After being asked questions, Peridot explains that she failed her mission and that her ship was destroyed in an accident. The cluster is about to emerge shortly, which pleases Yellow Diamond. She informs Peridot that there will be a ship that will come with extractor, but Peridot informs her that it is best to des destroy the cluster as Earth has potential for resources that are otherwise unobtainable. Yellow Diamond dismisses her statement, stating that she finally wants a cluster and for the Earth to be destroyed. Peridot defies her orders and tries to explain to Yellow Diamond that there are things on this planet worth protecting. Organic life. After a heated argument, Peridot declares that she knows more about Earth than Yellow Diamond does and calls her a clod. She ends the message. The gems cheer on as Peridot as she finally understood at least some value Stephen has tried to teach her. As in her disbelief, she disobeyed Yellow Diamond and defied her loyalty. She talks to the gems to dispose of the communicators as um it can be remoted differently. Stephen bubbles and garnet smashes into the air, detonated it. Stephen then declares that Peridot is now the crystal gems as she is now a traitor. And she's just staying there curled up. It's like, oh god, oh god, oh god. So yeah, that was pretty much message received.
Um, out of all the episodes we've, we've we've seen during the Steven Bomb, I'm gonna say like overall is the second second best. Yeah, and like you learn quite a bit. Um, add added more to the theory that um says pearls are accessories that when they're owned by diamonds, they're color coordinated. Yeah. It's like oh and yeah, overall very good episode. Um, we actually learned a little bit more about how gems identify themselves. They identify themselves pretty much by figure and and cut. So uh, I hope like the tomorrow's episode expands more on this and we learn some more about Jim Homeworld. All right, this has been Canova here with her review for Steven Universe. Message received. Thank you.